All right, YouTube, so we're back with another video today. Um, recently, our local park was butchered by PG&E, and they cut down one of our favorite trees. In the but today, um, we're going to put use to some of this. We're going to harvest some tree sap from this sugar pine right here. It's a beautiful tree. It's a, it's a shame that it's gone. It, it wasn't a hazard, you know, and um, we tried to fight PG&E for it, us and like a lot of the community tried to fight for this tree's life, but you know, we're not gonna tie ourselves to it or anything like that, you know. I don't know, I mean, it sucks that they that they did this, but today we're gonna show you a little bit about tree sap. All right, so I, I counted the rings and it's, it's, it's roughly over 130 years old, somewhere around there. But this sap right here is, has a lot of uses. You can make glue out of it, you can, you can eat it. It's actually good for you to eat. So you can make candles out of this stuff and glue that. Yeah, so I mean, if you guys are really having, a, if you're really hard out, you could eat this and survive. It has carbs and sugars in it. It'll help you get through. It's not tasty at all. You're not gonna enjoy the taste at all. Trust me. But it is. It will help you. It will save your life. Planning on cutting down the rest of these trees, so we're just gonna have nothing but sunshine here. All right, pea tree, you will be missed. I'm sure you guys already know this, but if you didn't, it's also highly flammable. I mean, you can start a fire really easy. I mean, I said that earlier too, but I'll show you. See that? It's super flammable. So now that this has been heated, this is how you would make glue. You would heat this sap up a little bit and well, a certain degree and, and you can make glue out of it. All right, so this is an easy way to make a candle. Um, if you're really in desperate need of some light, wrap inside of a, you know, a can or any kind of can. It doesn't have to be a beer can, but this, well, this works nicely, so. Woo. That will give you some light right there. So that's an easy thing to do. All right, so this has been burning for about, I'd say 10 to 15 minutes, somewhere in there. And you can see it's still burning strong. So this is a good way to, you know, keep yourself some light if you need it also. And I'm just, you know, trying to educate you guys a little bit on the subject. So the can, you can see, it, you know, it burnt for at least 20 minutes. I'll tell you that with a little bit of sap that we put in there, that's pretty good amount of light, you know. And also it keep you warm or whatever, just, you know, Keep that in mind if you ever, you know, you're in a situation where you need some light or you need some warmth or anything, a tin can, a little bit of tree sap, and you got yourself a candle.
If you guys didn't know any of that, let me know in the comments. If you did know that, I'm sure you guys might have known a lot of that stuff. Thank you guys for watching anyways.